okay, I want to throw this out here real quick before I get into the serious character development of this episode. Was that character that was kind of introduced this episode, Pecco? Because it seemed like he had the same voice actor, but completely changed his entire fucking personality. Okay, so I, I, I don't honestly understand exactly about that character. I don't know if it was Pecco or not, but the way he acted, the way his voice actor was towards the end, I pretty much nailed that as Pecco. And we even have that Akuma come in and say, okay, Pecco, and just grabs his face. So Pecco has gotten tan, longer hair, looks like he's gotten taller, and he smokes now. Oh, yeah, and has a lot of sweets. So what the fuck? Uh, okay, his character seems like he aged about a good 10 years. I'm just going to be honest there. I'm guessing that's what smoking does to you. Either way, this episode had a lot of character development for Tsukimoto. That's exactly what this episode's character development is for, along with Akuma's character development. So at the end part of this episode, we get to see Tsukimoto just crush Akuma. But what this entitles is just showing you how much our main male character has come. For instance, Tsukimoto, when he fought Kong in the tournament, we saw the high school tournament, well, pretty much he lost on purpose because he did not want to crush someone's feelings and destroy their chances of ever going higher up in status. Well, in this episode, we see Tsukimoto is a ball past that, and he was just crushing Akuma. Even though he knew Akuma, if he was to lose this, or no matter what, he pretty much would be terminated from the tennis club. So it's really upsetting, honestly. It's sad, but at the same time, it just goes to show you the development of his character and how he's willing to crush anyone in his way now and be a serious competitor. So I like that about him. I like how his character actually has has developed. This is what this episode tried to demonstrate. So Tsukimoto has development. Now, another thing, Akuma, we get to see a little bit of past story with him, which is interesting. He's not a main character, so I really did not care much about it, honestly. He's a character that was just thrown on top of us. I understand the situation. I understand he was a hard worker. He tried. He did everything he could to be a good player to stand up for Roe of his school. But, I mean, at the same time, he's not a character I'm really interested in investing in wanting to know more about. But finding out that pretty much how Tsukimoto states to him at the end of this episode that he has no talent was pretty upsetting. I, I, you know, that was an upsetting line, and I really do feel bad for Akuma. So going past that point, this episode really had some interesting things about it. The art style, once again, the art style, I love the uniqueness about it, especially the way they do, like, different cuts in the screen, like how they have one pa panel, like, talking like a manga, and when the other panel is, like, froze still. I love that. Now, besides those type of things, I love the music. Once again, the music of this series is fucking awesome. I love the music, love the development, and at the beginning, we get to see how, where Kong is going. Pretty much, he's doing something else now. Looks like he's going to become the sensei and try to train people that are trying to learn table tennis. So, I like that entire aspect. Kong is actually got some more development, and maybe he might be a key aspect player later on in the future. We have no clue. Maybe Pekko will go to him to be better at table tennis. I mean, that could happen. So, overall, good episode. A really good character-driven episode that really develops characters. I love the atmosphere of it, and I'm just interested to see where it'll go from here on out. I mean, when will our main male character, Tsukimoto, have a true challenge, a true match? So, either way, tell me your thoughts on this episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moments about it? What was your worst moments about it? And tell me, are you going to continue watching the series? I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.